round four of the 2023 Improved Production New South Wales Championship here at Sydney Motorsport Park. We're on the shorter Druitt track. It's a one day epic day night battle of unders and overs. Let's get straight to the action. On board with Mayan Reddy in his BMW. Big thanks to Midas, one of the sponsors of Improved Production New South Wales for 2023. Great start. Combined overs and unders field here at Sydney Motorsport Park. We're on board now with Matthew Giantini, one of the new runners in unders in season 2023. Had a great run in his Civic. Speaking of Civics, on board with yours truly out the back. That's Jeff Hansen in the sunny and Matthew Wildridge giving chase in the Escort Mark II. Big field. Now to the front, the two Nissans at it again. That's Ben Algie out in front with, of course, our number one, Kurt McCready in hot pursuit. The rest of the field there comes through. A few races to, returning to the paddock. Rob Benson there in the white escort. His first run in a while. Great to see him back. Wildridge now attacking as we go over the flip-flop. Quite a treacherous part of the track. We turn left at turn four instead of right. Wildridge uses the muscle of the escort to get through. We're carrying a lot more speed down the short chute, getting to the final complex of corners here at Sydney Motorsport Park. A little bit of adjustment for the entire field. A much shorter lap, but still a much different character. On board now, Matthew Burks has had a great season so far. Ups and downs with mechanicals. Seems to be on top of them now. And speaking of mechanicals, that's Stig Richards. He's had a great year so far, but some smoke out the back of the grey and yellow RX-7. Algi still leads the way. The rest of the field coming through. Turn two. That's Wayne Twist from Victoria, back up for another run here at Sydney Motorsport Park. He loves the place. That's Hanson rounding up Tim Molesworth in the Celica. Had a bit of a birthday that Sunny and is really on song. McCready chasing Algi. So of course that's overs versus unders for the lead of the race. Each category will be scored separately of course, but it's battles all the way through the pack. Flip-flop, a little, little bit of off-camber, throws the cars off to the side of the road. We see Matthew Lamore there in the Volvo station wagon being rounded up by returning racer David Worrell. Out the front now, looks like... There it is, my goodness, Ben Algie. You don't see that very often. He's pulled off to the side of the track and that allows McCready to go through and RX-7 belching smoke. That's Stig Richards. Looks like he's in a bit of a mechanical trouble there. Wonder what happened to Algie there. If that's a DNF, that's going to really hurt his championship chances. Burke's now ranging up on the back of the injured RX-7. Still got some straight line grunt, but so is Burke's. Look at that. Whistles up the inside. Gets the pass done. Giantini now lining up his K20 powered Civic against the rotary power of the RX-7. Look at the smoke streaming out. That looks like it might be chassis rather than engine. There might be tyre smoke coming from the RX-7. Mick Ricketts also had his problems in practice and qualifying. He slides through there on May and Ready gets the pass done. We come back through the field. That's David Worrell coming through. Had some success at the Bathurst six hour earlier in the year and uh, we understand he's going to do a marathon run around the Bathurst track later in the year for charity so good luck with that see the field coming through Campbell Smith in the uh, the Clio he tells us he's put a stock standard engine in that car and it's never run better doing a great job and that's McCready coming through the field we've got a shorter lap about 30 seconds shorter than we're used to running here at Sydney Motorsport Park so McCready has to deal with back markers for the first time this year Ricketts closing on the back of Giantini there making up spots in his chase for success in the 2023 championship Burks now this is unders versus unders this is definitely a pair of rivals for the championship for 2023, Burks right up on the back of Viola, who's been driving his heart out all year in that Pitcher Partners car. Big thanks, of course, to Pitcher Partners for their support of IPRA New South Wales over the course of 2023. Sends it a little bit wide now. In a normal race on the GP circuit, he would have the inside line going right down the bottom of the hill here, but it's a left turn. Burks has got the inside running, and he'll make the move stick over this slightly treacherous 
flip-flop combination, throws it off the curb there, drives hard out onto the final shoot on the way to the final complex of corners. Great move there from Burks. Not only picture partners, of course, Ravenol Australia have joined us back again for 2023. DBA Disc Brakes Australia have come on board. V Sports and, of course, competition parts on the back of our cars. As we go to the results for under two litre, Kurt McCready takes the win from Matthew Burks. Charlie Viola comes home for third spot. And moving to the overs, Stephen Engel, first victory for the year, fantastic job. Stig Richards comes home second with that wounded car and May and Reddy a fine third place. Dave Worrell, mate, welcome back to IPRA New South Wales. It's been a while. It has been a while, thank you, and welcome back. It's unreal. It's good to be back. Mate, you've been doing it. You haven't been off the track, though. You and I have actually been uh, coaching punters in the V8s. We have been doing a bit of coaching at uh, Fast Track um, with a few people down there. It's been pretty good, yeah. And not only coaching, mate, there's a bit of a charity fun run that you're involved in and raising some money for charity. I wouldn't say fun, but, yeah, definitely uh, doing a challenge in a couple of months' time, in October 22nd. I've decided to do to race Bathurst, which, surprise, surprise, it's nothing uncommon. Um, but this time I'll be using my own two feet instead of a uh, car. So, yeah, Panorama Punish on October 22nd. So any other racers out there, come and have a crack at that, Mount Panorama on two feet. No, no, that's fine. You can do that all by yourself. Oh, <laughs> of course, we, we've had a bit of success at, uh, at, the, at the Bathurst six hour and stuff, but running around that track, that's a pretty big hill. Yeah, let's take it. It's um, yeah, still getting used to it, but yeah, we'll try and raise a bit of money for Dementia Australia at the same time, and yeah, we'll see what happens. That's an awesome cause, mate. Best of luck with that, and uh, mate, this old girl's had a fair old life. I understand there might be something in the wings. There is something. There may be something um, coming through the wind. Yes, yeah, definitely. Keep watch this space. I was going to say definitely watch this space, uh, mate. Well, welcome back. Hopefully, uh, you can do a full championship in whatever this new tour is next year. Oh, definitely, mate. I'll be coming for the title. On board for race two again. A combined event. We're on board with Craig Wildridge in the 360 cam thanks to pitcher partners makes a great jump there on Mick Ricketts. That's unusual. Mick's usually a pretty red hot starter. Giantini through the window there of course he and his brother sharing the driving duties this year done an awesome job ready watching three abreast that's burks ricketts and wildridge going into turn two side by side mccready makes for the front of the race looks like oh we've got some carnage in the back of the pack that looks like graham bomb has been turned there looks like the uh, the commodore of david worrell might be involved avoiding action there coming sweeping through and everybody looks like it's a green flag running again oh, the Volvo might have stalled throwing it down the inside there getting the move done and now it's Engel on McCready, unders versus overs, it doesn't look like Algie has made it back out and that's a real shame, Ben has had a fantastic year but we're hearing that it might be a bit of a terminal engine problem so he's unlikely to make the final event either and that's a real crushing blow for his over two litre aspirations for 2023. Burks, meanwhile, on the hunt, really looking to cement his place towards the top of the under two litre tree. Giantini has been driving the wheels off that EG. They've been doing such a fantastic job all year long so far. Wayne Twist got the long trip back to Victoria tomorrow morning. He absolutely loves the Sydney Motorsport Park layout and we might be heading to his home stomping ground there of Winton for season 2024, so watch this space. McCready is looking to make every point count as he claws back towards the front of the field. He had two DNFs earlier in the season and that really crueled his chances of taking another title, but he's making every race count, every pole position count as well. Great battle here in the mid pack. That's Twist, Smith, and Molesworth really hammer and tongs. You can see the speed that they carry into that final set of turns. Viola now looking to hunt down the leading pack. Doesn't look like Stig Richards has made it back out either, which is a shame for his championship aspirations as well. Now Giantini on the back of that rapid pulsar of Mick Ricketts. Ricketts towing that car every which way, he locks a tyre a little wide, gets it turned in and gets a 
the move done. Giantini short shifting there to keep the traction through the front tyres. Onto the main straight now. Looks like that's Ricketts. Bit of a mechanical issue there and Giantini rounds him up on the main straight. Twist from Molesworth and Smith still, still fighting it out for the miners. Fantastic racing here. Molesworth looking for the outside move as Twist has got the inside move covered. And as we wind down, under two litres again, Kurt McCready makes it two from two here in round four. Charlie Viola, valuable points in second. Matthew Giantini, great place for third. In the overs, Stephen Engel takes two from two. And Mayan Reddy in second with Wayne Twist from Victoria making it up into third spot. Wayne Twist, welcome back to Ipper New South Wales. Your second run uh, up here at Sydney Motorsport Park. You must like the place. Well, actually, it's my third. Your third run? Yeah, because I, the first time I came, I really could not get my head around the track, so I thought I'd better come again. And the second time, I was sort of getting the uh, better, and I thought, right, I think I've got it. I'll come a third time and just nail it. And I turned up this time, and they've changed the track configuration on me, so I've got to start again. But, uh, no, thoroughly enjoying it. And, in fact, my car is actually a New South Wales car. So, ten years ago, I got Brian Anderson. He built it, so I'm bringing it back to its home. It's been here quite a few times. Nice, so it does know its way around. And how are you finding that the Druid? This is the first time that we've used it this year. How are you finding it? Oh, I actually like it. I'm a bit, little bit down the field, but uh, a couple of areas I need to focus on, which is well, uh, the turn one and then the corners onto the straight. So they're still the same, so I'm still focusing on those. But yes, I'm, en I'm enjoying this track really well. It's quite fast, uh, even though I'm down the field. So I guess I can just get up, step up a little bit, but... Uh, I'm really enjoying it and I love the facilities here, Sydney Motorsport Park, and I actually also like this new feature we've got with the MyLaps GPS, the in-car in flag, I reckon that's terrific too. Because Wakefield Park is still maybe off the table for us in 2024, we're thinking about coming to Winton, what do you reckon? Oh, we would love that, I'm on the Victorian committee and I'll talk to the committee about that, but we would welcome you. Uh, and we would absolutely love it if you guys came down because whenever I come up here you guys make me feel very welcome and we'd like to return that to you guys. Fantastic, well watch this space for 2024 but right now let's 2023 round four, let's get into the action. Under two litres, under lights, we're back to category only racing here at Sydney Motorsport Park. Great jump there from Tim Molesworth in the Celica. We can see Matthew Giantini ahead of him as they steam through turn one. Kurt McCready off pole, of course. Viola in second place. Craig Woodridge jumps up to third spot. That's a great performance there from one of the stalwarts of Ipera New South Wales Racing. Burke's a little further back through the field than he would have liked. He really wants to be closer to the uh, to the leading pair in terms of points. Wow, a bit of sideways. You can see that off camber flip-flop has really caught Craig Woodridge out there. Giantini might make him pay for that, slots it down the inside in the Civic. That is a big, bold move. Well done. Molesworth rowing through the gears to get onto the back of Wildridge in that Mark 1 Escort. That mid-pack battle really tightening up. As we see Jeff Hansen attacking the back of Matthew Lamore in that also BTCC inspired Volvo station wagon. Burks looking to make the move now on Matthew Wildridge, of course father and son racing the escorts and have done so for a long time. Real great supporters of the Ipera New South Wales category. Viola looking desperately for his first win and he really wants this championship in 2023. Big thanks too to his company Pitcher Partners for all the support that they've given us all the way through 2023. Molesworth not giving up the battle to get to the back of Craig Wildridge. Burks too, ranging up. He wants every position that he can get as the points wind down for season 2023. Just one round to go after tonight. Back on board. Is that a bit of a miss shift? He might have a bit of a challenge. Yet yeah, Burks fires it up the inside, makes a definitive move at turn two and steams up the road after the leaders. Campbell Smith coming through in the Clio, gotten ahead there of Matthew Woodridge and Lamore in the wagon. 
Looks like, again, McCready starting to round up some of the pack on this shortened circuit. They call it the Druitt circuit. And it's been proven a real challenge. The flip-flop in particular has uh, been a bit of a heartache for a lot of people all day. You can see the field streaking through now. Molesworth lining up the back of Craig Wildridge. Can he get it done? Has, it, has the uh, Escort maybe eaten its tyres a little bit? Going left, going right. Can he get it done? Uh, maybe uh, whether Wildridge might have a little problem there. But while Molesworth makes an easy pass as the race winds down. Kurt McCready, three from three, and that puts him into the lead of the 2023 championship after four rounds. Charlie Viola hangs on for a valiant second place. Matthew Giantini, another third spot in a great debut season for the young chap. As we go to the points table, you can see McCready leading the way in 503 points, just 10 ahead of Charlie Viola with one round in the championship to go. Matthew Burke slips back to third position. He's got a lot of work ahead of him if he can make a bridge to the front of the pack. Craig Wildridge coming in fourth. Tim Molesworth moves up into fifth spot. Final race of the day. Over two litres. Underlights here at Sydney Motorsport Park. On board with Robson. That's Dave Worrell through the window in the Commodore. The bigger, faster car streaming away from the underpowered Honda. Engel jumps out to an early lead. Mayan Reddy chasing hard. Unfortunately, Stig Richards hasn't made it back out and neither has Ben Algi for this final stanza of over two litre racing. Engel takes that Evo out to a slender lead over Mayan Reddy, who's been driving fantastically well in season 2023. Longtime supporter of the category. More than 50 race starts under his belt. Worrell being harassed there by Wayne Twist who's come up from Victoria again to support IPRA New South Wales. Wide running there, the big powerful Commodore squirming on its Yokohama tyres. Makes short work there of Mayan Reddy on the main straight. But Reddy's not letting him go. Better performance under brakes, closes right up on the back of Worrell. Twist in a watching brief. If anything goes wrong with these two, he'll be straight in for a podium spot. That Commodore moving around on its rear tyres. May and Reddy, big lunge under brakes. A little wide there from Worrell. But the horsepower down really makes it makes its presence felt. Steve Engel easing out to a comfortable lead now in the Evo. This Really keen to make it three wins from three, and that'll really give him a leg up in the championship, especially with Richards and Algie both out for the day. This little Civic's actually an under two litre car as Robson waits for a new car for the 2024 season in over two litres. That's an awesome job from Steve Engel to punt his way right up the series now three wins from three today David Worrell on return takes second place in that race Mayan Reddy claims third spot and with those three wins we see Stephen Engel has jumped into the lead of the championship at exactly the right point just one round to go in the 2023 season 541 points Ben Algy takes a massive hit from three non-finishes there is on 435 points Mayan Reddy has jumped up into third spot at 421, displacing his good friend Stig Richards is now down to fifth behind Tim Robson. <laughs>